We are gonna solve problem number six of Promise Summer Camp, we can say, for 2022. The hardest summer camp was Promise, and also this problem, especially 555, was the hardest problem of this summer camp. You can do it, it was for 2022, for preparing 2023 summer camps, or also other exams, solving this problem can be useful. So let's solve the problem. It says a monkey has filled in a three by three grid with the numbers one to nine. So we have three by three grid and we want to fill it by one to nine. And how the cat writes down the three numbers obtained by multiplying the numbers in each horizontal row. So for example, let's write an example. The cat's right here, what? 5 times 7 times 4. And the next number, 6 times 2 times 3. Next number, 1 times 9 times 8, for example, 72. So, the cat writes three numbers. Then, a dog writes down the three numbers obtained by multiplying the numbers in each vertical column. So, 5 times 6, 30. 7 times 2 times 9, 4 times 3 times 8, for example, 20, 12 times 8, 96. And then what? Cat, can the monkey fill in the grid in such a way that the cat and dog obtain the same lists of three numbers? So, here, let's see, is this table good? 8 times 9 72 in this row third row we have 72 but here in these columns we don't have 72 if we product 37 times 2 times 9 is not 72 because it doesn't have 8 only 2 4 times 8 times 3 is not 72 so this table is not good we want to try to find a good table then says what if the monkey writes the numbers 1 to 25 in a 5 by 5 grid? It is the hardest part of this problem. The next one, or 1 to, to 121 in an 11 by 11 grid. We will solve also this part, and it's not hard. In the last part, can you find any conditions on N that guarantee that it is possible, or any conditions that guarantee that it is impossible for the monkey to write the numbers 1 to n squared in an n by n grid so that the cat and the dog obtain the same list of numbers so let's start by the first part 3 by 3 and fill 1 to 9 so you have 1 to 9 but if you pay attention to these numbers one number is different from other numbers what number let's see five why because we have only one multiple of five if for example we write five in some place the row will be multiple of five that column that five is in there is multiple of five but another rows and another columns are not multiple of five because we have only one five we don't have 10 we don't have 15 so but for example two cause a row be even number for example even has even results so 2, 6, 8, all of them are even. But because from 5 we have only 1 and we don't have 10 any multiple of 5. So if we place for example 5 here, then this row should be equal to this column because there are the only rows and columns that are multiple of 5. Similarly, we can say all these things for 7 because 7 is the only numbers between 1 to 9 that is multiple of 7. We don't have 14. So if 7 for example in some place, then that row and that column are the only row and column that are multiple of 7. So, without loss of generality, we can say 5 is here. And so, we can conclude, if this row is x, this column is also x. You can fill it also with other way, but these things helps you to reach the solution faster. Now, the next one, 7 is not here in the row or column of 5. Why? Because if I place 7 here, it will be multiple of 35 this row, but we don't have another 7 to place here to be multiple of 
35. So 7 is not in the first row and the first column. So 7 is not is in what place 7 is. If you had any question, feel free to comment below or send message to my WhatsApp number. So 7 is here. Now, we say OK. Because 7 is here and we have only one multiple of 7, this row will be multiple of 7. So this column is the only column that is multiple of 7. So it should be y, it should be y, because it is x, it is x, it is y, it is y, and the rows, the product of rows should be equal to product of columns in another order maybe, so the last one should be also equal, because it is x, y, x, y, the problem says, the, the three numbers here should be equal to three numbers here, so when x, y, x, y, the last one also should be equal. Now, the rest of that, pause the video, try to do rest by yourself. The next number we want to place, look, for example, we have two, three. I want to place two numbers when this, the product of here, equal to the product of here. Five is common in this row and column. So this times this should be equal to this times. I can say two times three, six, six times one is also six. So three, two I place here. At first you can place two, three. You can see, okay, three, two is a little better. It's just check and try. Because 3 by 3 is so much easier than 5 by 5. So let's see. And then we place 1 by 6. 6, 1. 6 and 1 here. So here I want to see this column equal to this row. 7 is common cell. So 3 times what equals 6 times what? 3 times 8 is 24. 6 times 4 is 24. So if I place 8 and 4 here, it will be good. So what number is left? 9. Now, let's calculate. If we calculate, it will be 30. 2 times 3, 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 4, 28 times 6, 168. 8 times 9, 72. Now this column, 5 times 6, 30. 3 times 8, 24 times 7, 168, 2 times 4, 8, 8 times 9, 72. So we found a good table for 3 by 3. Now, if you want to learn in each topic combinatorics, geometry, there are some formulas that are important you need to memorize, also learn. If you had any question, feel free about, for example, questions. They are useful from qualifying level, basic level exam, up to IMO International Mathematical Olympiad. If you want to know them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Don't, if you've learned something new, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. So, let's go to the next part. We have... 5 by 5. Again, we want to use the same idea. There are some numbers, yellow numbers, that we have only one multiple of them. 13. You don't have 26. So if you place, for example, 13 in some place, that row is the only row that is multiple of 13, and that column that 13 is in there is the only column that is multiple of 13. So 13 is an important number. By the same way, similarly of the 3 by 3, 17 is not in the row of 13. Why? Let me tell you. There are all 13, 17, 19, 23. That are the numbers. We only have one multiple from them. They are not in the same row, same column. Why? Because if 17, for example, here, this column will be multiple of 13 and 17. But this row. But we don't have any column that be multiple of 13 and 17, both of them. So 13, 17, 19, 23 should be in different rows and columns. You can say without loss of generality, 13, 17, 19, 23 are like this. Now, try to uh, pause the video and try to find the answer by yourself. It's so much hard. So you should check something. These things helps you a little. So you should say the product of these four numbers equal to these four numbers. You should check many cases to reach the answer and this part of the problem cause this problem be the hardest problem of this summer camp. So let's consider the next one. 18 should be here. Try again the rest. Each step I place only one number and then try to see can you fill the rest. It improves your problem solving. 
So let's see the next one. It is X because it is 13 and it is Y, Z, T, W. And because it's 13 here and the only row that is multiple 13 is this one. And the only column that is multiple 13 here, similarly like 3 by 3, it should be X. It should be Y equal to this because of 17, because of 19 ZZ, because of 23 TT, and because of 18 W W. Now let's fill the rest. 7 should be here. 10 should be here. Try to find rest. 11 here. 15 here. Now I want to fill the first column should be equal to this. One here, try to fill these three by yourself, pause the video. 21, if you couldn't now, try to find these two. 22, and this one is obviously you can use, find it. 7 times 10 times 11 times 15 equal to 1 times 21, 22. And if you write the equation, you can see that by that equation, this should be 25. So, if you check, it is x, it is x. The product of this row equal to the product of this column. Try to find these three cells. It is 14, 24, 5. See, can you find these three numbers? Also, if you can solve this one, it's good. So, let me write one of them, 20. Finding these two is easier. Try to find three, and last one, you don't need any creativity only you should write product of this the product of this one number is left and that number is what four one two three four five six six numbers are left try to find and fill them with two six eight nine twelve sixteen two the next one sixteen two numbers are left here two times sixteen thirty two product of which of them is a hundred and you can say 2 times 16 also you should consider 20 21 10 14 times what two numbers equal or equal 12 and last number you can find it without any creativity product of this row equal to product of this column this number is what this cell ps8 and two numbers are left you can easily find product of this product of this and you see which of them it is 6, 9 or 9, 6 and it will be 6 and the last one is obviously 9 and if we calculate this it will be what? 150, 150 first row and if we calculate this column again it will be 150, 150 the next row will be 285, 60 and if you can calculate or 28,560 if you consider this column it will be again 28,560. Third row will be what? 255360. Again, if you calculate this Z, it will be exactly this. T is what? 109,296. Again, this T will be exactly same. And the last one, W, is what? 129,600. And if you calculate this W, it will be exactly this. And finding this is so much hard. Before seeing, watching this table, you can try it by yourself. The next part of the problem says what? It says try to see, can you fill this 11 by 11 table that satisfy the thing that the, the condition of the problem? Again, if you consider 11 by 11, 1, 2, 1. If you consider the numbers that are important, that you have only one multiple from them, 61. This prime, because 61 times 2 is 122, but we have only 1 to 121. So 61 is important, 67 important. Similarly, like previous tables, these numbers should be in different rows and different columns. Because, for example, if you have 61, 67 here, this row will be multiple of both 61 and 67, but we don't have any column that be multiple of 67 and 67. 1 and 67 both of them so these numbers the prime numbers from 61 up to 113 113 they should be in different rows and different columns so how many numbers do we have the prime numbers after 61 up to 121 61 
67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97, 101, 103, 107, 109, 113. How many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If we have 13 numbers, they should be in different rows and different columns. Consider only different rows. We need how many rows? Because we have 13 numbers, we need at least 13 rows. How many rows do we have? 11. We have 11 rows, but we need 13 rows. So it is impossible. And we can say... For 11 by 11, we don't have any good table. And the next part of the problem said, for n by n, can you find any condition that, for example, under that condition, we don't have, we can say it is impossible for those n to have any table. And also find any condition if we can guarantee that we have a good table. If we consider the idea that we said in previous parts, you can find some conditions. And if you found any condition, Comment below this video your answers and if you have any questions feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and also you can click on my video to see another problems improve your problem solving.